So I am thinking about making this my next project. This is the gear selector on my 89 Lotus. I'm really not a big fan of it. Um, I've never done anything on a lathe before and I really thought about making a really cool looking oak uh, shift knob to replace this knob that's on here. I don't know how successful I'll be at it, but I sure thought it would look very cool if I could get this thing pulled off and uh, then see if we can make a, a shift knob for it. So this is the gear shifter and uh, inside here that is blind and looks like it fits onto here. Anyway, I'm going to carry this with me and I'm going to get a piece of oak, put it on a lathe and I'm going to see if I can turn a maybe a two, two and a half inch ball to put on my shifter and we'll see how it looks. Also, this right here is called red oak. That is the that's the type of wood this is. This is red oak. This was actually a piece of firewood that my dad had. I actually went down to their house. We got the lathe out. There's like a there's a chisel rest. There's a like uh, where you where the chisel rests against the side of the lathe, so you can chisel on the wood. My brother broke it. My dad welded it back together. I think he like brazed it back together, and then the next day we broke it again. So I've got to get that part. I was still able to uh, get this part made. I, even after the lathe was broke, I was able to use a piece of wood to rest the chisel against instead of having the, the chisel rest. Anyway, this is it. I'm pretty stoked. Let me know what you think. This is what I got. I'm gonna go with it. I'm going to stain it. I got a friend that does vinyl graphic. I'm gonna see if they can make me a cool looking load assembly for this and then I'll put this on the car. I don't know why I decided to do this, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to try to make a shift knob for the Lotus. I'm really, really don't like that one too much. I don't know why, but I think it's kind of plain Jane and uh, wanted something different. And as you just saw in the video, I made this right here on my dad's lathe and uh, got a pretty cool looking ball here. I'm going to sand down the bottom of it and uh, that's going to be where the bottom will be here. I'm just going to cut this out. Um, but I did want to stain it, see what it looked like stained. Before I do that, I think I will go ahead and drill this hole out. Um, I'll do that first and I'll look for a bit that uh, a wood bit that will be roughly the same size as that and uh, we'll cut this out real fast. And this is a one inch paddle bit, and it is the exact same size as this. You can see it kind of goes up in there, and uh, I'm gonna mark how deep that is, because if you look in there, you'll see that it does step down.
We'll go with it. I have some Minwax Golden Oak Stain, and I'm going to uh, try to cover this ball a little bit and see what it looks like. So here's my wooden ball and I'm going to let it dry. Hopefully this stain will take and it'll look pretty good. I'll wipe this, I'll wipe it back off here in a little bit and we'll see how much uh, stain it actually took. And once I do that, I got a friend that does vinyl graphic. I was going to see if maybe I could have them make me a Lotus symbol. I thought that would be really cool looking and we'll get this put on the car. We'll see how it looks. But in my opinion, which looks better. It is Saturday morning. I'm out here in the shop and I'm getting ready to just put a second polish on this ball that I made. This is what I'm gonna use as a gear shifter and uh, I really liked it better than the stock gear shifter and I've got it somewhere. Uh, anyway, this is what I got. Um, I've got some polishing compound. I'm just gonna use this McGuire uh, cutting compound and uh, just put it on a high speed buffer and buff it and we'll see what it does. I'm not through with the ball yet. Um, one other thing I plan on doing with the ball is I have a, two stickers actually. I've got a one half inch and a three quarter inch Lotus sticker coming in the mail. I'm going to put that on the top of the ball. There's my dog again. There's, there's my little escape artist dog. We got two of these things. There's this one and then there's another one. I don't even know where she went, but um, this one is the one that constantly digs. He's always escaping. Uh, his name's Bandit Nanook. She tends to, she tends to mine pretty good. This is behind one of the buildings here, and you can see he's digging here. This right here is his most recent uh, escape attempt. He digs out and goes through. This is another place where he's got out, and we've got some blocks stacked up right here until we get concrete on that. But he is always trying to escape. It's uh, like an everyday thing. We're just kind of used to it at this point. But uh, anyway, let, let's work on this car. Here is the Lotus out here in the rain, and I uh, need to move it. But anyway, here's the the factory shifter. Hold on one sec. So this is obviously the, the shifter. That's my ball, and that's what it's going to be. And the spring, there's actually a spring that goes on here, and that's what gives you reverse. Like, you actually, to get this car in reverse, you've got to pull up and over to, to get the car to go in reverse. This ball will go down here like that, and... That, that totally works and looks freaking awesome. But anyway, I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Thoughts? Anybody want one? <laughs> that was actually pretty fun to make. So this is the shifter. I'm, I'm, I'm really tickled with the way that looks and it, I think it looks a ton better than the, the black shifter that originally came in the car. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I think that looks freaking awesome. Looks, in my opinion, way better than stock. You, you purists that like your big rubber shift knobs with the red writing on it, great. That's awesome for you, but I thought this looked cool. And I, and I can say this is actually something that I've made 
for the car. So I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like it. Like I said, anybody want one, give me a shout out. I don't mind making them. It was pretty fun and uh, probably could make this for pretty much next to nothing. There's a lot of time in clear coat. The sticker did cost a little bit of something to have made as well. But uh, if anybody wants one of these, we could probably make that happen. Anyway, just shoot me a message if you're interested. Uh, we'll go from there. Watch out, I've got something in the mail today that I wanted to show you guys I thought was kind of cool. Um, I ordered these really neat looking stickers from a gentleman on eBay and they're for my Lotus and I'm excited to see what they look like and if it looks good then this will be part of the next project I got to do. What I ordered was some stickers and I am excited about them. This is them. I got uh, there's eight of them on here. There are four that are three quarters of an inch and there are four that are one half inch. And looking at this, I think that the uh, three quarter inch stickers are probably going to be what I end up using. And what I plan on doing, putting one of these stickers on here and after I get it on, then I'm going to clear coat the whole thing so that way the sticker can't come off. And that's going to be the rest of this project. So anyway, let's see if we can get the sticker on and maybe put some clear coat on this thing and see what it looks like. I can already tell you that is looking freaking awesome. And I'm going to wipe my greasy hands off the sticker and once I get it all cleaned up, I'm going to spray this with a layer of clear coat and we'll have us an awesome looking gear shifter for this, for this Lotus. Gonna take this in the house and let this dry in there. I, I really think that the drier air and warmer temps will give me a better finish than having it out here in the shop tonight. I've got this thing in the house and I can't begin to tell you how excited I am to see how good this actually turned out looking. I think that sticker really sets it off. This thing looks amazing to me and I tell you, I definitely want to make more of these. I don't know if anyone out there is watching this and interested in a shift knob for their Lotus, but I would so do this again just because it was fun to do. Hey everybody, this is it. I've got the gear shifter on here. I wanted to show it to you guys today and just give you the reveal. I'm doing it all nerd style, whatever here, but I, I'm really excited about this. I think this came out looking really good. This has been a big project. This has been really fun to do. I'm excited. I'm anxious to show you guys this. If you don't mind why you are watching this right now, please click that subscribe button here on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build my content. I'm trying to build my channel and any little bit of subscriptions would help. And so a simple click of that button would be great. And here we go. You're ready. That's it. That's the shifter right there. I think it came out looking really awesome. I couldn't be more pleased with the way this thing looks. Um, I got a three quarter inch Lotus logo on top of it. I've got a nice golden oak finish. I've got, I don't know how many coats of clear coat on this thing, probably six or seven coats of clear coat on this thing. And I could be more satisfied with the way this thing looks. I'm really pleased with it. So anyway, that is the shift knob on the Lotus. I've said it a million times. I'm probably gonna wear it out. I am super tickled with the way this thing looks. Anyway, if you like it, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you like it. If you see anything wrong with it, by all means, hit me up, let me know. If anybody wants one, hit me up. I would love to try making these again. This has been really fun. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.